Hey there, everybody. My name is Joyce Omondi Bahiga, and this is Full Circle with Joyce Kariboni Sana to the second hour of our show today. Certainly hoping that you are well. I know I hear it's raining outside, uh, but uh, if you're indoors, of course, you are in good company right here. Here's what we have in store for you this second hour of the show. Later on, we're going to be meeting the 2019 Baker of the Year here in Kenya, and she's going to be giving you some tips on baking a, biz uh, a baking business, rather. <laughs> and uh, also, she'll have a treat giveaway for you guys so you want to stay tuned in for all of those details but before then we'll be jumping into relationships and I'll be telling you about our guest and our topic in just a few moments for now let's take a look at our quote for the day this one is by Joel Osteen and it says believe there are great breaks in your future believe for explosive blessings you've got to pray for big things you've got to believe for big things. I'll read that one more time. Believe there are great breaks in your future. Believe for explosive blessings. You've got to pray for big things. You've got to believe for big things. That there was said by Joel Osteen and uh, that forms our quote for the day. And uh, remember, you can send in your feedback and your comments to triple one, triple four, triple one. You can also reach me on social media at Switch TV KE on Instagram at Switch TV Kenya on Facebook and Twitter. I'd be more than happy to hear from you. You could also follow me along at Joy Somondi on those platforms. But for now, I want us to dive into our topic for the day. We're going to be discussing relationships and man. I think one of the biggest questions or the most common questions on this show is, Joyce, how, you know, at what age can I get married? Or, you know, is it too late? What is the appropriate age gap, age this, age that, which number? My goodness, so many questions on that. And so today we're finally going to try and uh, have that discussion here in studio. Benjamin Zulu, Karibu Sana. Asante. What happened? Oh, I like it. We color coded. Today there is harmony. There's harmony here. We're wearing <laughs> blue, so things are going to get really thick in yeah. just a moment. <laughs> I do. But um, I want us to talk about relationships and age specifically. Lots of people have a lot of questions. We've commented. I think now we are kind of known all over the Internet <laughs> as those people who discourage guys from dating below the age of 25. Um, and so age has proven to be something that is very significant in a relationship. So it is. As much as love is blind, or they say love is blind, I actually don't think it is. Um, you know, what happens when it comes to age? Should age be blind? Does Ma it absolutely Ma matter? Maturity is a, it's, it's a result of two processes. Mm -hmm. One, your age. Two, your growing process. You're learning. Mm -hmm. Your hunger to learn. Mm -hmm. So you're mature uh, when you attain a certain age for your biology to be able to handle some things. Okay. And you're mature when you have learned enough to be responsible and have the capacity to think right in the situation and to make right decisions. So those who many, the, the, the most common objective I hear, which is very shallow, and I call it short uh, mental shorthand, <laughs> surface. <laughs> when people come to say, oh, don't say I'm marrying at pre-25 is wrong. I have seen 40 years old, I was still foolish. And I tell them, I'm talking about the brain and how, how it develops. Mm -hmm. It is equipped to only acquire skills up to 24. Mm -hmm. Past 25, the frontal lobe, which is the reasoning capacity, is when it finishes growing. Right. So we are saying past 25, you have the capacity to think straight. But not everybody has the capacity to think straight, think straight. The same way not, not everybody has eyes, use them. Right. Everybody with hands uses them. Right. You can have the capacity and you don't use them. So we don't say it's the age alone. We're saying now you have the capacity, you must exercise, do the gym, think straight. So we're saying age is a thing. So we're saying the following thing. People keep asking me, what is the appropriate age? What can I date a guy who's two years younger than me? Let's start here. The lady can be, the first of all, human relationships are not cast in stone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Any two people can decide to work a relationship between the two of them. Mm -hmm. And they will work it. Mm -hmm. Whatever age difference. What we are discussing today is what it, it takes and what it will mean mm. to live in that kind of relationship. And whether you, many people go in without knowing what it means. Okay. So the following things. You can date a guy who is younger than you as long as he's not younger than 30. In Africa, men mature slowly. Wait, 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 wait. Are he not younger than 30? Yes. In Africa, my observation, men mature very slow they start they get ready to commit with one woman you see joy's commitment is not responsibility is not inborn it's a virtue which must be cultivated many men before they are ready to settle with one woman they are 30 years old and beyond mm -hmm. 
majority, 90% of the about. You meet a few outliers. Cases who married at 26 and they're okay. But they're so few, you can't use them to educate the public. Right. And we keep saying that on the show. I mean, because I know someone will text in and say, oh, but Joyce, I got married at whatever, whatever. That's great. Congratulations, too. And I, I pray you, you know, work on your marriage and all that. But, you know, again, we, we are not using, we're using the majority exactly. here. Exactly. We're trying to go with the majority. Exactly. And I, what we're saying is the majority of cases, as, as far as research and studies have shown, is that what we've been saying and here just on the there show, are people so. who can cross uh, 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 the river Limpopo on a rope <laughs> safely and the uh, guys you can cross on a rope, rope is a good way <laughs> but you can't recommend it for public means of transport right, 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 right. <laughs> so if you have the cap there, there, there are people who started learning very early and one of the people have been an early learner yeah but i still married past 30. okay <laughs> <laughs> so um we're saying let the lady be any age not below 25 let the guy be any age not below 30. wow in the West, dynamics change a little bit for men because they inherit wealth. Okay. In the West, majority of men are given financial standing to start life. Okay. And even then, when they have money, they're mentally still not ready to settle with one woman. They will take you through hell and high water. You date a guy 27, date a guy 26. You say, <laughs> I don't know your this. Just every day I'm meeting these blunders and they ask me. And I'm saying, I want to teach this before you get in again. Yeah. <laughs> so. Okay. So for ladies, not below 25. Yes. For gentlemen, not, not below, below 30. 30. But then that also then brings the question of it, how big is a gap? Is I mean, Very when good. is too big a gap Let's a talk problem? about this. Most people, 10 year age gap is workable. And a preferably let gap. the guy be older. Preferably yeah. let the guy be older. But sometimes the woman can be older and the guy prefers it that way. Benjamin Disraeli, one of the uh, most prominent uh, prime ministers of England, yeah. the, the woman was 15 years older than him. Wow, yeah. And they had a happy marriage. Mm -hmm. So most people, 10 to 15 is workable. But there are serious dynamics I want to highlight here. Before you jump in. Okay. Yeah, before someone is like, they're already running off to get their wedding gowns. A guy who's 25 this. dating a guy who's 40. <laughs> listen to me. <laughs> listen to me. You're being idealistic. And just listen, remind people, don't go to love with activism. I have the right to date who I want. Everybody has, has, has a chance in life. You should not discriminate against me. I understand him. I'll date him. <laughs> listen. <laughs> <laughs> Most senior bachelors have a reason why they are still single so late in life. Okay. You must make sure that reason is a safe reason. That's true. Most of them will give you a safe narrative that they were the victim in the former relationship, that it was just education, you know, it was just this, <laughs> you know, it's all about money. People don't understand me. Only you understand me in this world. That should be a red flag. <laughs> if somebody tells you you are the only one who understands them in the world, eh. you should run away. Really? You are not that different from the rest of us. <laughs> you should be very careful. And if he has two baby mamas, you will be there. <laughs> that. <laughs> <laughs> People come here and eat too much. Uh -huh. So the only safe reason is if uh, it was a genuine relationship and something happened. Okay. And he was the victim in the relationship or because of death. Because of, if you can date a guy with a wife and she, he died and the guy is a gentleman. Okay. I want to take you back to the age gap because 10 to 15 years. I mean, I, I guess 10 is reasonable. 15. I mean, those are like different. Aren't those almost I was different telling you the problems that come in. One problem is the person who is older the, doesn't value your opinion. It's like they know it all. One, one of the dangers, it's not always, but more, one of the dangers and people overlook is that you go in like, she's the older, you are younger, like her a son. Parent. Like her son. Mm. She views you in that light. Most women don't have the ability to switch and see you like an equal partner when you are that younger. When she's 40 or 25, when you are 30, she's 45. When you're that five, she's 50. There are a few who can view you as an equal partner, but in most cases, she won't. And meantime, she's so advanced financially, so ahead. You are experimenting and starting out. You can hardly think on the same level. Your decisions look childish because she has a long experience, more than you. Sure. I want to warn men before you rush in eagerly and say, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Zulu said this, okay. Let me warn you what you'll have to deal with. Let, she will age ahead of you. Mm -hmm. Men are very strong. You remember David... Uh... <laughs> When they wanted to check whether he's dead, they brought a girl. <laughs> and when he did not touch the girl, they said the king is dead. <laughs> so you know where... We don't just check the heart for oh a man to know that he's dead. We check elsewhere also. <laughs> so, men are energetic way later into life. 
<laughs> Will the woman still be for that at that age in life? One of the problems is the insecurity that you will go for the ones who are younger than you, who are as young as you. Me, I'm too old. You know, mm. ask women who married a second wife. <laughs> you remember that one who asked her, I married as a second wife. Sometimes you marry as a second wife thinking you're marrying this romantic, romantic. He is so far ahead in life, his priorities are switched so much. Yeah. You want to, you want to check whether apart from him showing up, popping up in your life on Tuesday evening, <laughs> whether there's anything going on the rest of the week. You want to romance and love it. Dave, I, I, I want one of these girls to jump in to become second wife, thinking they're marrying King Muswati III. And they're expecting <laughs> music and the queen number two has arrived and there's a royal procession. <laughs> no! <laughs> You're coming here as a side day. Something oh, to, uh, to compensate. He is already busy elsewhere. So there are some things to don't come here with, don't come here with too much act and idealism. Come Calm down to the ground. And the okay, okay. Calm down to the ground. That's for gentlemen marrying older women. What if it's the other way around? And now that 15-year gap is between a younger girl and a much older gentleman. Firstborn daughters, listen to me. They are the most frequent in this case. Ah. I'm on your case every day. <laughs> <laughs> Why firstborn specifically? They were grown by adults. Okay. Firstborn daughters are mentored strictly by the mothers. Mm -hmm. Even when the mother is not a good man, she knows you carry her image. Mm. And if you fail, she'll be insulted. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, firstborn daughters many times have, have been over-responsible, trained to go too far. Yeah. So they don't relate to their age mates. They find them childish. Yeah. <laughs> you, you connect Wait, with that. No. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. <laughs> Most times the firstborn daughter with her classmates, she it's too much childishness going on. So she just keeps quiet and behaves so polite. <laughs> But she cannot have meaningful conversations with her age mates. But she will flow when she's talking to her boss, her lecturer, her teacher. That's when they can think alike. In fact, her le lecturers fall under the charm of these girls. Mm. Because of the way she reasons. Mm. The way she's mature for her age. She ends up marrying people that told us. So I want to start by firstborn daughters. You can marry a guy 10 years ahead of you. Okay. At 15 years. But be very careful when you begin to hear past 10. Because biology kicks in. When you're 60... <laughs> And you are uh, for a five, and you have this. Uh, okay, you are energetic, and his generators are going off. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, you about tuk tuk. You start a tuk tuk with a rope <laughs> tuk -tuk. somewhere behind. I'm the better. Oh my god! You know, after you're ready to go, hey, we are going now. You get into the tuk tuk. You start hearing other shenanigans <laughs> behind, and I thought the journey has started. <laughs> You might have to push it. Oh, <laughs> so think ahead, I think please. We get it. <laughs> Some guys are already doing. It's okay to run kidney machines for a guy you agree with, but if you come, you are starting life and you are to run kidney machines for a guy. How far can you go with that? Are, are you just a caregiver? Are you really a partner? Uh, you're a nurse. <laughs> so I want you to be careful, ladies. Don't go too far with this. Okay. You can find mature guys of your approximate age group so that you experience life at the same time. When lockdown came, how? Where were you? Yeah, I was. What if you, we, we have nothing to connect with? There's something called zeitgeist. Zeitgeist is called the spirit of the age. Things that connect us, our collective conscious, the experiences that we shared together. Right. Like all the kids who are 10 years in 2020 will always refer back to Corona. Yeah, always yeah. refer back to this. So yeah. As we remember the Nyayo, we yeah. remember the handover to Kibaki, we remember some, what if you have nothing to share? You talk about can you, can you children, can you, 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 met, uh, you never talk about Nyayo. So the thing, yeah. <laughs> the thing is, you need a person who can connect somewhere. Okay. The problem is, if you don't, if him you don't, you will connect elsewhere. Eh, I think we need to give Benjamin a break. Let's get some water. <laughs> and then we're going to come back and continue with this discussion. We're talking about age and relationships. And uh, if there's a magic number, if it matters how big that age gap should be, we've already gone through some of those pointers over there. So triple one, triple four, triple one is the SMS line. I have some questions here as well that I'll be touching on and uh, you can send your feedback in as well to our facebook page at switch tv kenya this is full circle with joyce and i'll be back after this Hey there, everybody. Welcome back. My name is Joyce, and this is Full Circle with Joyce. <laughs> I'm here with Benjamin Zulu, and uh, we're talking about relationships, and specifically if age actually does matter. Everything from an age gap to if he's older, if she's older. What does it actually do to a relationship? How does it affect it? We've already discussed a few things, but we're, let's just pick up from where we were. And um, Benjamin, 
now of course you've said you've highlighted some of the different challenges that come with you know one partner being much older than the other and beyond the sexual aspects of it of course there's you've mentioned how people think there's no sort of common thing mm -hmm. that they can relate to in their past but i especially want to explore this idea of father figure mother figure in the relationship mm -hmm. and just how warped really that is um that can be very damaging do you know uh joyce there's a case i'm handling currently of an abusive father from the time the child the girl was born the father said you're not my daughter you're not as beautiful as the rest of it in fact your father is that guy in the village somebody wow and from young age he discriminated against i would buy other kids things but leave out go get it from your father so if those who grew up with a father abuse can grow up to recapture that mm. I want to warn, some people marry a person who is mm. way older than them because of an unresolved childhood problem with their parent. Mm. Okay? You want to make sure that, and Joyce, I need to repeat to those who grew up in an abusive parent, your first work is not to date anyone, it's to heal. Mm. Mm. The moment you're out of that parent's roof, the moment you get your first diploma or anything that you can get some money, get a small house for yourself and attend therapy. Learn. Equip yourself because you are, you are tilted emotionally you are not balanced you are being attracted to people who recompensate what you think you deserved right so this girl went on to marry another way older guy who was as abusive as a father mm. i've seen men who for having unfinished business as a mother they go on to marry another mother figure mm. and i want to warn girls my firstborn daughters again <laughs> I want to touch on you again mm -hmm. some of you for having played mother so much you marry guys who are way younger they see a mother in you Oh, and, 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 Joyce, can I announce this? If a girl is earning more and if she's paying the bills when they're starting life and hoping, she's hoping that the guy will catch up, you're dreaming. <laughs> <laughs> it matters how things start, Joyce. Yeah, <clears throat> absolutely. Always does. And we're, we're not saying that uh, it's every... There's some people who start in the girl's bandage or eventually... Got, but those are so few. Most guys, the pattern you set becomes what you live with. Mm. And I've seen so many girls who are so responsible, they don't know how to ask. One problem with the responsible girls, they don't know how to ask for to be taken. And I mean, they're just, their default is giving, giving, giving. So they end up being training. And there's a, a saying we always say that people, those people are always holding others are the ones who need to be held the most. Mm. But they are not taught how to ask to be held, mm. to be supported, to be. So if you have a parental <coughs> girl, you sense that there's something you grew up abnormal in. Start yeah. by healing, not okay. by dating. Okay, okay. Well, let me get to some questions mm -hmm. now. Um, someone here is saying, I'm 21 and he's turning 37 this year, 16 year age gap. We're married. I don't know what I okay. have. Okay. What should I expect? Well, for, wow, you're married at 21. That's, <sighs> That's what wow. I say. I don't know whether I have a comment. You're okay. asking the wrong question, my dear. That's Anne from Kikuyu. Girls, I repeat, <clears throat> stop marrying under 25. You don't know where you're going in life yet. I mean, 21 is young. Ay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Really young. Is marriage your calling in life? Were you born to get married? There's another thing you have to do. Develop your potential. Know yeah. what you're born to do. Develop your capacity. You see, if he marries you as an, as an innocent, naive girl, he might expect you to remain that way for life. But is there something about people who are... Because back in the day, <laughs> Benjamin looks like he's a person... <laughs> To need an airbag. The reason we, the reason we are that world, I Joyce. Didn't even get the reason to ask we are question. that, the reason we are that world, Joyce, is because we have wastage of potential. Can I, can I ask my okay, question? Okay, please ask. <laughs> <laughs> my question is: Is there something about? I once heard that we tend to marry sort of almost within the same age range as our parents. And back in the day, you know, most of our parents, you know, they would get married really, really young. And so they, they sort of encourage it as they raise In you. fact, they're the ones who plant the idea that go to the university, get a man and a degree. Get a right. So for, for because of that reason, I mean, maybe some people are coming from, from that place. Because I know many people who... And we are transferring a philosophy of failure, Joyce. Okay. Most of those parents never achieved mm. their dreams. That's why we have so few masters in that age. We never mm. had women who, who impacted society. They were really reduced to being a mother and a wife. And that's all. The best job they could do is a P1 teacher. <laughs> they were not allowed to work. They were not allowed to dream and take off. Most women who became anything, and I told you that they had to divorce, had to break them, or stay unmarried, to become anything, because society was so... So, if you want to continue marrying at the age they married, you'll inherit what they inherited. That is wastage of their dreams. 
Well, okay, okay. We're going to park that one there. Um, Anne from Kikui, I hope that <laughs> as answers your question. Um, Sam from Mombasa says, love has no age limit. Some people are old at 18 and some are young at 80. Go on experimenting. We also need, need a few guinea pigs. Yes. Okay. I don't want anybody to agree, everybody to agree with us. Let people go opposite and we have illustrations. <laughs> so God, we need to believe. No problem. <laughs> okay. Wow. Um, hmm. Someone here says, my uncle who's 40 is dating a woman who's 15 years younger than him. They enjoy each other's company and love and respect each other very much, but it feels off to me. Can a relationship with such a huge uh, age gap be truly healthy and long lasting? Mind your own business. <laughs> this is your uncle. Why are you asking us to gossip? They did not ask you for help. Did they send you to us? Please. Are you so idle? Go hey. back to work. Wow. Benjamin, <laughs> what's happening? No, stop stop being nosy. Why are you snooping to people's relationships? I want a person to ask about their own relationship. True, true. Don't come here to gossip, your uncle. <laughs> That's the kind of gossip family the politics we say we don't want. <laughs> Keep busy. Okay. Okay, someone here has a question. Mary has a question. Is it okay to be in a relationship with someone who's the same age as yours? Yeah, it is. As long as both of you are mature and you're connecting. That's okay. It's even ideal. You're experiencing okay. life almost at the same time. The problem is... Provided the guy is 30. Mature. Because... Of my <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> <laughs> Provided you can think and like. You're not talking both of you being 24. That's stupidity. I don't entertain it. Yeah. Both of you being 23. Uh -huh. Or even both of you being 25 or 26. I want... If you're both age, both of you maybe are 30, both of you are that one. And I tell ladies, most of the times you moved faster than your, lady, than your guy colleagues. Mm. Most of the times. Mm. Mm. Mm hmm Someone here is saying, good morning, Joyce. Looking great as always. Thank you for that. You say your name is Jay and you have a question about relationships. You're dating a woman who is eight years older than you. She has a child, but the husband died. Please advise. If you both of you are connecting, I don't see a problem with it. But as long as you yourself are mature, you know what you're dealing with. You don't date this woman, then later <laughs> start regretting that you did not do some things. Mm. Is your sober what you're doing? Go on, man. That's okay. 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 Um... Someone here is saying, relating well with the discussion, I got married at 23 to a 29-year-old, tried for 15 years to make it work, but left due to irreconcilable differences and violence. But I knew are it. There <laughs> I knew it. Are there men who never mature? So both of them are sort of under the exactly. age band that you... Exactly. And look, I mean, look, guys, because I know people will say, oh, I know someone... They tried for 15 years that's not a small and, investment and how many years do you waste between 23 to 38 trying a thing and in and out and then, and then, and then starting a phrase at 13 taking two years to 40 do you have eternity to live one lady texted me this morning been dating this guy eight years he has never made anything official we have, we have this for yard baby i moved in and I said, do you have eternity to live donating 80 years to one fella wow dating is not a goal no company says we are budgeting for interviews for how many millions this year we are doing interviews only. No. Uh -huh. We only interview to get a candidate to work there. Uh -huh. So you only date to find a mate when you're ready to marry. Yeah. Hey, okay. Now, what is the right age to marry? And I know we've talked about our numbers as far as dating, but someone here is saying, I agree that past 30 is the best age for a man. But on the other hand, I think if a man is financially stable at 25, he can marry. Is he mentally That's ready? That's Tracio from Nyeri. Is, so is it is about it a finances? A lady? It's a, a lady. I think Tracio. I think it's Let a lady. Let me repeat this. Men have an exploration period I call wild period. From the time they leave campus, they get their first job, explore. They're moving with a, a, a group of boys and band of boys and party after party and running and driving Subaru and wild life. And the church group is preaching crusade after Kesha. <laughs> and the fire and the, they're rebuking see? sisters and sisters. <laughs> That's cut <laughs> paper. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is a wild age. Is he, is he exempted? In fact, many men by getting money that early in life. They become so wild and restless. What will you use to tame him? No, but also, I, I think it's, it's a very false, superficial assumption to believe that financial stability is what gives someone maturity or competence in a relationship. It will never do that. And money, things change. Exactly. They could lose that money the following year. Exactly. So 
don't base anything on money guys it's important the the, the real question is what is their work ethic that is how they are going to make the money but don't be exactly. <laughs> counting on it as financial stability it's the character nah. that stays i'm working with the pre-25s and i'm picking those who are doing good things and highlighting their stories and one of them is a boy the, the girl is 18 she plays a sailor she's pretty well there's a boy is 21 running businesses and he drinks then the guy says i don't think drinking is bad my friend's drinking so running that this too early to conclude the effect of drinking on his life yeah. maybe he will soon ruin his own life at pre-25 drugs get so ingrained in your system you get so addicted you might struggle with it for the rest of your life okay i want to ask you another question here and um so this is sort of a two-part on the one hand is if someone is 23 right now are you saying and they're dating are you saying they shouldn't even be dating until they're 25 because there are things about you which you cannot see so they break up <laughs> yes if you pick a mate, even if you pick, you say we shall marry at 27, but you picked them yeah. at 23, yeah. you just transferred the same mistake. One okay. day you, you wake up to realize you didn't know this about you. If so I you're were, just delaying the wedding day, but the exactly. issues are still underlying. Exactly. And they told me if they call me and the bride is 25 on the wedding day, I know they picked each other mm. prematurely. Okay. They wake up and realize, they tell me the love disappeared. This girl was 23, I tell her one day you wake up, I unloved, the love disappeared. Okay, it so was that's a, a good point. Infatuation. It's not about just saying, okay, let's wait until we're uh, 25 uh, to get married. At what age did you pick? Another thing, we are not saying to sit there and wait. Go learn, develop yourself, master who you're supposed to become. Know yourself more, start through personality test, develop your skills, try things, explore. There's a period of exploration. If you skip it, you regret it. Okay, how long should people date for then? Once so you're... say they're now within the proper bounds. Someone's 25, the lady's 25, the guy is 30. Is there a point that you're dating too long? Yes. I say people, uh, two years, past two years is too long. You don't know what you're doing. Two years? Yes, that's too far. You know, there are people who are dating for G5 years. Because they don't I've know never where they're going. They're wasting doing, by the their way. time. You're wasting life. Life is made of time. Operated a sense of urgency. Your years of energy, let's repeat, only 30. 30 to 60. That's the time you have strength to make an impact in the world. To rear your children. To, make, to organize your life. Below that, you don't have enough competence or connections to make an impact. Past 60, you are delicate. You go to where they, they call you geriatric patient. They test everything. Even if you can because of flu, they check your liver. They can't put you on a drip before they check your eyes of fungus. <laughs> so you only have a few short, because they have lost sense of the times in life. And another thing prolonged too long because they knew it is going nowhere and they're prolonging the good way. They're too afraid. And honestly, if, if that, I just find that so unfair. Like if you know you're not going to take this relationship anywhere, leave that person. Exactly. You know, and mercifully. allow them to, yeah, I, mercifully. Conduct euthanasia. <laughs> mercifully put the relationship to rest, <laughs> knowing it has no future. It's not fair. It's not <laughs> fair know. to the person at all. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, People still asking at what age should one start dating and for how long uh, do you say you've dated too long or should get married? I think again, we've addressed that. period of that. dating is intensive communication. Don't mm -hmm. rush before you know the person enough. Okay. Listen to your gut. Mm -hmm. If you talk daily and you meet frequently, in a month you'll have known each other so much. Yeah. If you're talking constantly. Sure. Someone here says, I'm 23 and I'm dating a man who's 27 <laughs> who happens to be a pastor. I can't need to date. I'm okay with the age, but the other day he told me to stop wearing trousers. Should I concentrate on what is making him happy? Is that part of the... Yes, concentrate on what is making him happy. Just do what he wants and make him your everything after all. He's a man of God. He will mentor you all the way to heaven. Praise the Lord, sister. These are the questions I hear from 23 year old are nauseating. Don't you have a life to build? Don't you have a future? What are you trying to become yourself? Maybe this girl will turn 25 and she realized she was never called to become Mrs. Pastor. Mama mm -hmm. Kanisa. She doesn't even know what it means to marry a pastor. She can't even think that much. She's only complaining about trousers. What more is he thinking if he's uncomfortable with trousers? <laughs> One day you'll not be allowed to talk with a guy. <laughs> Any guy. <laughs> 23. That's my sister. Oh my. Let's go on, Joyce. Let's, let's go on. Let's go on. <laughs> let's go on. <laughs> Someone says, my name is Lucy and I can tell whatever Benjamin is saying is true. I got married at 20 with no life experience and after 10 years we separated. Joyce, I don't know how to date again, not because I have 
not moved on. I wish girls can honestly listen to what you guys are saying. Thank you. It's been five years now and you're still single. You feel like a little girl starting her life now. And to even run away from men is not easy. Wow. Thank you for that. Joy from Mary who's saying, I'm older than my boyfriend with about six months. And we're both the same age at the moment. Can our relationship work? If you're over 30, you do work. If you're over 30. Okay. The guy has to be over 30. Yes. Not just you, but him as well. It's because of him that we put the that. Yes, yes, yes. Um, hey guys, I'm 35 dating a man seven years younger than me. I'm a mother of two boys separated with my husband in the year 2018. Okay, so the guy is under 20. Exactly. Benjamin, people exactly. want to, to be in love in their exactly. 20s. Exactly. This mother, these ladies who have two children and dating a guy is 28 is because she wants so much to be loved. I think she's used to being in a relationship, in a marriage that she's so afraid of being alone. I suspect she's not dating from a healthy place. And I But wonder, you know that stuff, for those especially who want someone to be there as a father figure for their children. I mean, there's a lot of dynamics exactly. with this I know one. the emotional pull. I know the emotional pull. And I want to ask this really. And you can't say he's 28 is not that far from 30. That five. She's saying that five. Huh? She's so I guess the guy is he's seven years younger. Yeah, so she's that five, he's twenty eight. Yes. I did the math. Yeah, I twenty eight is say, not that far from thirty. It's not far. Ideally, even if he she was that and the guy was that is I mean, she was that seven, the guy that I'm wondering whether at twenty eight he knows what he's doing. That's my fear, Joyce. And whether the mother will listen when the son is bringing a woman older with children. Mm. You also want to know that you'll be accepted in that family. You don't want to go to a place where and soon he is influenced and given another younger girl to marry. Mm -hmm. I want to ask this woman to be very careful. Don't do a rebound. Don't jump quickly. Don't be used. Maybe most likely she has money. The guy has no money. Oh, la, la. <laughs> don't be the one to finance a young man. <laughs> and then he's doing his exploits with the young men out there, with mm. young women out there. Mm. I want to ask the lady to be very careful. Okay. Over on Facebook, young Nikki says, at some point you should raise an eyebrow at what a young lady would be doing with a man old enough to be her father. But anyways, it's not in my position to judge them. Let them keep on loving and age together. I, I don't understand these, these type of comments because I feel like you're saying you clearly have an opinion of what it should be. But at the same time, we say it's not our position to judge. But no, I think no, as society, exactly. we are we are setting a standard, right? This is, exactly that's what just. this whole show is about. And just this, we are here to state what we believe to be the safe path. Right. So, you know, people are too afraid to offend. You can see how people are afraid. How people are afraid. That's what I lost. Yeah. The first thing I lost was fear to offend. Yeah. <laughs> Someone says, my cousin fears responsibility. He's almost at the fourth floor. He's 38. And he says, not yet. Ata hajapanga kuoa. Watch out gossip. Talk gossiping people. That's your cousin. <laughs> Tell us about you. Okay. <laughs> Age matters in our society that even though the spouse wouldn't care about it at first, that would remain something to mention in future misunderstandings and the like, which is pathetic to say the least. So and just you say, there's a societal factor. Be careful factor. when you take to your daddy an older man that you don't take to him his classmate. Mm -hmm. Be careful that you don't shock that old man by dating somebody who they studied together. Ah, oh, my colleagues, oh, you're marrying my daughter. <laughs> you know? Eh, my goodness. I need to get ready to wrap up here. But um, uh, someone here is saying, what about emotions? Or rather, tell them how to deal with emotions until 25 to 30. Because ladies are so much active at 23 all the way. Even guys, though. Even yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah. But, but And I think that's a fair question. So here we are saying, wait until you're 25. Wait until you're 30. But there's a lot of emotions. You know, their hormones are all over the place. How does one handle that as we wrap up? Mingle with everyone. Socialize without specializing. Don't use the word love or your mind or I give you my heart or I give you my sophagas, my kidney. Don't promise anything. <laughs> Relate freely. Grow. In fact, dodge. They call it dodge. There's an art to remaining single while you're preparing. It's true. It's not easy. There's an art. But when you're determined, you'll do it. Yeah. And also, <laughs> I know I need to go, but and also just to say that, you know, age is not always wisdom because someone here is saying, um, I don't know how to put it. My husband is 41 and I'm 35, but I'm the one who has to keep in pushing him to invest. It's like he's never there. That's yeah, from no, Sally. We yeah. say you can There's grow always old an without growing up. Yeah. <laughs> Benjamin, give us your handle. Benjamin please. Zulu KE everywhere. Email <laughs> Benjamin Zulu KE at gmail.com. Thank you. <laughs> well, yeah, you're even looking tired. 25 years old, I'm stress. Joyce, our country remains behind because of that group. I'll continue whipping them. <laughs>
<laughs> we're gonna take a break now guys <laughs> thank you benjamin for coming on to the show and uh when we come back we're gonna be diving into our final segment for the day we want to talk about how to start up a baking business successfully triple one triple four triple one is the sms line see you after this